Children, we request people or ask politely for some of the things we want the other person to accept or adjust with. We need to be polite and that is a part of etiquettes. Let's see how Chinu is requesting Pinky whether he can open the window as he feels hot. Pinky, hmm? can I open a window? No, no, no. Please don't. Uh, it's very cold. But but I feel hot. Would you mind if I open the door slightly? Yes, that's all right. <laughs> okay, thank you, Pinky. <laughs> You're welcome, Chinu. Okay. Now answer the questions. Why does Chinu want to open the window? What does he open? Listen to their dialogue again. Pinky, hmm? can I open a window? No, no, no. Please don't. Uh, it's very cold. But, but I feel hot. Hmm? Would you mind if I open the door slightly? Yes, that's all right. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Pinky. <laughs> You're welcome, Chinu. Okay. Pinky is okay. If Chinu opens the door. Now listen to the following requests. Could you please lend your pen for a while? Could you please come with me to the store? Do you mind switching off the fan? Will you spare some time for me in the evening? <laughs> Hello, children. Could you please tell me your age? Okay, let me ask you, how old are you? Here is how Chinu is asking Pinky's age. Listen to the dialogue. Hey, Pinky. Hey. How old are you? Um, I am 10 years old. Hmm. Why are you asking my age? Uh, uh, just to know. <laughs> Okay. How old are you, Chinu? <laughs> I'm 11 years old. Oh! Now answer the questions. How old are you? How old is Pinky? How old is Chinu? How old is your sister? Listen to the dialogue again. Hey, Pinky! Hey! How old are you? Um... I am 10 years old. Hmm. Why are you asking my age? Uh, uh, just to know. <laughs> okay. How old are you, Chinu? <laughs> I am 11 years old. Oh! Ask everybody and find out their age. How old are you? How old is your sister? How old is your brother? How old is your mother? How old is your friend? Hello, children. Tell me, what is the time? We all ask time from someone every time. Let's learn how to ask time in English. Chinu, mm -hmm. I'm feeling very bored. Oh. What is the time now? It's uh, half past one, but I'm feeling hungry. Aha! Then it is time for lunch. Yes, let's have lunch and then play. <laughs> yes. Play only up to quarter to two. Uh, okay.
okay, we will have lunch first and then play till quarter to two. Okay. Chinu told Pinky, it's half past one. What does he mean? It is 30 minutes or half an hour after one o'clock. It isn't? Let's listen to them again. Chinu? Mm hmm I am feeling bored. Oh. What is the time now? It's half past one. Oh. Then it is time for lunch. Hmm. Yes. Let's have lunch and then play. <laughs> Play only up to quarter to two. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, okay, we will have lunch hmm. and then play till quarter to two. Okay, let's go. Okay. <laughs> so now you tell me, what is the time now? When do we say half past one? Mm, pinky, hmm. when it is 30 minutes past one o'clock, then we say half past one. Oh! And when do we say quarter past one? Um, 15 minutes after one o'clock. Great! We now know to tell the time. <laughs> yes! Yay! How do you say the time? Let's now listen to this song. When it strikes 30 minutes after 3 we say it is half past three And when it strikes thirty minutes after ten We say it is half past ten Oh, what will you say? Mm -hmm. Oh, what will you say? Mm -hmm. When it strikes thirty minutes after eleven Oh, we say it is half past eleven Half past eleven is half an hour after eleven. So say the time the right time, the right way. Learn to tell the time, the right way. Learn to tell the time, the right way. Learn to tell the time, the right way. Hello, children! In the last dialogue, we learnt how Pinky and Chinu learnt to tell time when it strikes half past. Like half past three, half past four and so on. Now let's know how Pinky and Chinu learn to tell time when it strikes quarter past. Hey, Chinu! Hey, Pinky! Where have you been? Hmm? I didn't see you yesterday. Oh, I could not make it to come to school. Why? I was not keeping well. Oh, what happened? Are you all right now? Hmm, I had a stomachache. I am feeling fine now. It was a bad time. Oh, no, not a bad time. Time is time. Hmm? Take care. Okay. What is the time by your watch? It is 2.15. 2.15? Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, tell me. Mm -hmm. How do you say when the clock strikes 15 minutes after 2? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wait. I tell you. Uh, ha! We say quarter past two. Oh, fine. Hmm. What will we say when it strikes 15 minutes after three? Mm, it's quarter past three. Oh, quarter past three. Hmm. This song tells you how to say quarter past time. Let's listen. When the clock strikes 15 minutes after 3 We say it is quarter past 3 So, get ready! When it strikes 15 minutes after 4 
We say it is quarter past four, and it is T R. When it strikes fifteen minutes after seven, we say it is quarter past seven. I hope we, we all go to heaven. We all go to heaven. We all go to heaven. <laughs> Hello, children. Telling time is interesting, isn't? Chinu and Pinky are good at telling us how to tell time. They made us learn how to tell when the clock strikes half past and quarter past the time. Now they will tell us in minutes. How will we say when the clock strikes ten minutes after, say, four? Come on, let's learn from Pinky and Chinu. Hey Chinu. Hey Pinky. Now I know how to say quarter past and half past. Oh, how great! <laughs> uh, what is the time now by your watch? Um, it's half past eleven. Hmm. Am I right? Yes, you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> How will I say when it is ten minutes after five? Oh, that's easy. You say ten past five. Oh, ten past five. Hmm. And what will I say when the clock strikes twelve minutes after seven? Hmm. Just say it is twelve minutes past seven. Oh. What will I say when it is five minutes after four? Five minutes past four. Okay. Yes. So we now know to tell the time in minutes too. Great. Let's listen to the dialogue again. Hey, Chinu. Hey, Pinky. Now I know how to say quarter past and half past. Oh, how great! <laughs> uh, what is the time now by your watch? Um, it's. Half past eleven. Hmm. Am I right? Yes, you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> But how will I say when it is ten minutes after five? Oh, that's easy. You say ten past five. Oh, ten past five. Hmm. And what will I say when the clock strikes twelve minutes after seven? Mm, just say it is twelve minutes past seven. Oh, what will I say when it is five minutes after four? Five minutes past four. Okay. Yes. Children, now tell me, how will you say the following times? How will you say when the clock is at ten minutes after three? How will you say when the clock is at eight minutes after five? 